Hi there, my name is Krista. I'm a former US visa officer and today I want to specifically talk to F1 students where they might want to study and how to evaluate the best schools and what's going to be right for the student. So a lot of people that we work with at Argo who are getting ready to go to school ask us whether or not it matters where you go. Should we be looking at the denial rate of students from that specific school, other international students who have a difficult time getting their visa at that school? Is this something that students should be worried about and asking about? So the short answer is yes. You should be considering denial rates and whether or not other international students at this school have a hard time getting approved for their visa in general. You want to ask your DSO um, what their tips are, what they've seen at consulates abroad, if they've had other students from your nationality apply and how did their situation go. You want to learn as much as you can from the institutional knowledge at the school. And from the point of view of a visa officer, you know, a, a visa officer can approve a student from any accredited university in the United States that's able to issue an I-20. That is kind of the basic process. However, you have to know that there are there is a bit of a hierarchy in the mind of the consular officer. Um, schools that are really easy to get into that you don't have to show any credentials for basically you just have to say hi my name is and I'm willing to pay to study here. The visa officer may look at that more as an excuse to get to the United States rather than a true program of study. So if you are going to a school that is little known or is not very difficult to get into you really want to prepare for your visa interview to impress upon the visa officer that you're a real student, that you have a real plan of study, that you intend to leave the United States when you're finished with your studies, and that you are able to pay for your studies. But in general, if you're just strategizing about where should I go to school, what's the best option, the better school that you can get into and pay for is going to ease your visa process a little bit. A visa officer who immediately recognizes the name of the school, it's a very good school, and understands that there's a good program in that field at that school, etc., because it really does have this incredible name or it's well known for a certain thing, that is immediately going to tip the visa officer to the fact that you're a rigorous student, the university that has accepted you that's well known, that has a very good program, almost certainly has done all kinds of credential evaluation, testing, essays, right? It's not just, hey, my name is and I can pay for this program. It's there's a a whole application process. So the fact that the school itself has that vetting process makes the visa officer feel more comfortable with the idea that you're a real student. If you have gotten to a level in your field, in your educational background, in your career, that you can get into this good school with a real credentials evaluation before admittance, then the visa officer is intuitively going to think that you're a real student, that you really do intend to go to the U.S. and complete this program. That doesn't mean you can't apply to schools with lesser name. Like I said, if you end up choosing a school with a lesser name, that's fine and it's still possible to get your visa, but you need to be very prepared. Again, this is the starting point at which you have to prove to the visa officer that even though there wasn't rigorous credentials evaluation in order to get into this school, you still are a real student. You have a real plan of study. This is a good opportunity for you and you intend to come to the United States and truly study and finish this program. All right, so if you're a student going through this evaluation or you've gotten into a school that you're not sure if it's a top name school, but you really want to be prepared for the interview to make sure that the visa officer can see that you're a real student, reach out to Argo Visa. We'll be happy to help you.